<laughs> well, hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're kicking off Halloween crochet patterns. And although snakes are not exclusively part of Halloween, you'll see that these fierce creatures can certainly work in the Halloween decor. Let's kick off with this cute one. Uh, it's a little bit of a nurse snake <laughs> with, a, with a mouth full of flowers. They're adorable. Look at those eyes. Very cute. Great, uh, a great effect. Here's a very simple one. Um, there is some hardware involved to get this nice, uh, nice shape. And of course, you can make them in any color you want. I love the, the wide-eyed look in, <laughs> in their eyes. Now, this one is uh, very spectacular. I love the coloring. The eyes make really make it. And I love the embroidery of the mouth. This one is uh, quite the... Um, quite a little snake there it's <laughs> here's a similar one i love that this one has a has a, a pale belly and i like the eyes very very cool i think most of this is done with painting here's the same one in well the, the in uh this one is in brown and this one is in blue very very cool effect this one is massive it's a massive very fluffy velvety yarn snake Adorable. It's wrapped itself around uh, someone's arm. And this one, this cobra, <laughs> has a very distinctive look to it. Look at how cool this one is. Very, very nice. Love the, the coloring of this and the stripes and all the, the, all the details. And it's quite fearsome looking. In complete... <laughs> Complete opposite this one, which is adorable. It's a, I think it's a pot holder, but you can also use it as a coaster or something like that. It's adorable and it's, uh, uh, depending on the eyes, quite a dopey looking snake. Now, I really like this one. This is a winged snake. Of course, you can make it without the wings, but this one has gorgeous wings. Uh, here's from a different angle. Here it is in different colors. So that gives a very spectacular effect. Look at this, uh, look at this sort of rainbow snake. It's so cool. And here is uh, sort of the cobra variety with the massive, um, I don't even know how to call this, uh, flaps on the side of the head. <laughs> it's quite adorable. I mean, you know, for a snake that could bite you. Um, this one is part of a trio of um, Jake Snarming, Jake Snarming, <laughs> Snake Charming Patterns. <laughs> And uh, it's fascinated by uh, by the flute. It's uh, very adorable. This one is cute as well. Love the patterns here. It's probably mostly painted on. It would take a massive amount of uh, uh, pattern reading to get that crochet in there. It's possible, but it's not. Uh, would not be my my favorite thing to do. This one again, loaded with some wire, so it can stand up and take uh, whatever position that you want. It's adorable. It has big eyes. Snakes! Nine crochet patterns! Here you go! And I think I have um, close-ups of all of them. So let's take a look. Here's the, the, here's the stripey one. <laughs> here's another stripey one with cool colors. Um, a green grass snake, I think these are called. This red one, that is... Um, I, there's a... This, there's a I'm not very good with snake names, as you can tell. Uh, another stripey one. <laughs> All coiled up. And this one is uh, a stripey, but in the in the length. Stripey. Stripey in the length. It sort of has a uh, rattle snake tail there. Very cool. And of course, the, the one with the ridging on the back. Very, very nice. I like this one a lot. And look at the face. It's so cute. Now. Completely different kind of snakes. This one, these are dressed up. Uh, this one is for graduation and for Christmas. It's <laughs> really a bit of a dopey looking one with a fat belly. I think it just ate a mouse or something. And uh, I love the little tie there. And this one is also decorating for Christmas. So Christmas snake <laughs> can't go wrong with that. Here's a little cutie, perfect for uh, little hands to grasp, a sort of nice rainbow colors, very happy colors and a happy face. And here it is in more pastel-like colors and they are very cute together. Now this one is quite fierce, another cobra, massive teeth, beware. And uh, you can coil it up, but you can also, I think I have photos of that, well here it is coiled up. You can also wear it as a hat. 
How cool is that? It's all that's all you ever wanted in a winter hat. Now is your chance to put that cobra on your winter hat. Now this one is very cute, a little snake made for the Chinese zodiac signs. Um it's adorable. It's a little egg snake. <laughs> it's very cute. This one is quite fierce looking. Look at that tongue and those eyes. It's spectacular. It also has a spectacular design on the back. There it is. Cool. So cool. Here's some more snakes you can wear this time as a scarf. I love the shape of the of the of the head. It's very cool. Here it is made, you know, it's a very thin scarf, love the wavy lines, different colors. You can make it whatever color you want, obviously. Um, the blue is a very cool effect though. Here's another snake snake scarf um this one is a bit um a bit more uh this one is wider and it doesn't have all the wavy lines um it is quite spectacular <laughs> looking actually now this snake is about to charm this little rabbit it's a bit over uh exposed the rabbit but uh, the snake is about to uh, do some magic love the coloring of the of the back very nice il dico always makes very nice crochet patterns here's the the <laughs> Here's the little bunny in the uh, in the hat. He has a very friendly look on his face, so he's probably not going to eat the bunny. Let's let's just let's just agree that he's not. Kafka made this wonderful snake-looking sort of Beetlejuice kind of uh, snake there. Very cool. I like the 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 massive mouth <laughs> with the teeth, but of course the the fact that it's stripy is always my uh, my favorite part of any animal. Ooh, very, very fierce looking green snake here with the with the teeth and the small um, pupils. Again, it can wrap around anything, put a little silf, put a little hardware in there and you can give it any shape that you want. This cutie's all coiled up and ready to strike. It's very, uh, very nice and, uh, and cute. Now this one is also flat and wavy and it's used as a bookmark. So it's very fun. <laughs> Make it in someone's favorite color, the person that is going to read the books. And uh, here it is in all its bookmarking glory. <laughs> it's so cool. Another one, love the, love the stripes on this. I think this is all crocheted in, all these, um, all these um, um, spots. So that it takes a little bit of effort, this one. <laughs> but it is a very cool effect. Here's another cobra type. A uh, fierce looking mouth there, ready to strike. Better get out of its way. This one um, you can make into a fun color uh, draft, ex draft excluder. Here it is in action. Love the little stripey ones and it's uh, happy to do its job from the look of its smiley but toothy face. So cute. Adorable. Here's another cutie pooty. Um, it's uh, hiding in the grass, so be aware, <laughs> the snake's hiding in the grass. I love the stripes on this one, love the color combination, and it has a lot of friends with different stripes, color combinations, and they all have a little bit of iron hardware in them to make them give that distinctive shape, as does this one. I love the little bows on top and the bulging eyes. It's a, quite a look, this one, but you can... Uh, Wrap it around your pencil or something and make a nice little decoration out of it. This is adorable. Look at this little belly felt with some embroidery on it. It's just, <laughs> it's just perfect. And its little fangs are, uh, are very, very, very cute. Well, that's it for the snakes. It's the first Halloween crochet patterns. Many more are to follow, so stay tuned. And of course, I wish you happy crocheting.